So we have come to a very important part of this particular series and uh, this is probably one of the final phase of the uh, entire series. Uh, we would be switching over from writing um, code that doesn't really save user data to anywhere. We will be switching over to saving them into a file so that we can always come back and check user and log in from there and do other operation using a file. Uh, so we are still going to be working with this. Uh, we've made a lot of progress on this file. We've uh, switched over to changing, uh, to validating from an imported uh, module that we created. So everything is still the way we left it the last time. We've done a little bit of validation here. If, of course, you can still decide to increase the number of validated uh, functions here. These placeholders are still there, just like we left them the last time. So our work is now going to be focused at registration. We are going to be making sure that our users are registered and saved into a file. Okay, so I'm going to take this out because right now that's not really needed. Yeah, let's take all of this out. Okay, so we have account number created all right so that is uh fine we, we are back to where we were before we i mean when we added the try and catch thing to the code now if you've not seen all of that you can always go back and watch them so right now what we want to do is to replace this with a file system so that once we register a new user we save them into a file and then use that file to keep track of our users uh, moving forward so what we're going to be doing is to start by creating a new file, Python file here in our project. I will call that database.py. Um, now, this file is going to serve as our database where we are going to be connecting to our file system, fetching data from our file system, and so on and so forth. So let's think about the things we'll be needing to do in a typical database. The first thing we need to do is to create record, right? Uh, the next thing is to um, edit record. That's, I think edit is, okay, change record. I mean, I think edit is more appropriate. Uh, or update, yeah, that makes sense. Update record, update record. And then, uh, then we want to be able to delete record. Actually, we need to be able to read record. <laughs> I'm trying to arrange it in order. So read record, and then finally delete record from our database. So this is all we are going to be doing. Uh, we need to be able to create record, update record, read record, and delete record. This is basically usually called uh, the CRUD operation. So like, um, see, uh, UD. So in case you see that somewhere, just know what it means. All right, so let's define our record. Uh, create. I'm going to just use create. So this is going to be um, create, create a new record. I should say new user record. And then next up, we define update which is ob obviously going to require us to tell it the user to update. So we need to have user account number. So we, we select the user we want to update um, this way. And actually this is going to have user details. The, the details we are going to be actually using to create the user in the database. Uh, and then I'll print out a simple thing here that says update user record and then we'll move on to the next one define a new one read and that is um, reading actual user so user account number print read user record next up we define delete which is going to be so we also need to specify the user we want to delete. Print uh, delete user 
record. So apart from this, there are a few other things we would need to do. Number one, we need to be able to search through our record to find a user. So search for user. I think that's the only extra thing I can think of right now. So uh, I'm going to say find. That's going to be find. Let's make that find. Find user. Now find would require a um, an argument. So we are going to be finding user based on the account number. So user account number and then print find user all right so we have our basic uh skeleton for the database these are the functions we are going to be implementing and let me tell you why we are implementing all of this so when we get here we are going to be importing database and once you import database we can take this out right because we don't really need it anymore and then right here uh, i'm going to forget about login for now in fact let's collapse login uh, let's collapse all the rest so we can only focus on what we need right now okay so this is what we need and i can collapse this so register is the only thing we want to do right now right so what we are going to be doing rather than doing this here we are going to be um, using database module to create new user record so we, we, we could still stick with using this and just insert this entire thing into a file to create a new user record so my plan is right now my plan is we we'll create a file okay create a file actually that should be in my uh, database um, theme so to do this we will we'll be creating a file okay create a file the name of the file would be account number account number dot t xt so each time we add a new user we create a file in a folder so which means we need to create a folder here which is going to be our data folder new folder and call that data so every of our data will go inside this folder so each time we a new user signs up we, we create a new record for them in our data folder and then use the account name to uh, account number to name that record that was just added to uh, the data folder and then after we do this uh, name of the file would be account number the txt add the user details to the file all right so that's all we are going to be doing here then return true of course uh, return true that's all we are going to be doing here to update the record uh, we need to find user with account number which means we would go into this folder, search for a file name corresponding to this account number because we saved the user with the account number. And then once we find that um, file, we can fetch the content of the file. Okay, update the content. Uh, con come on content of the file and then save the file so once we find the file we update the content of the file then save the file back into our data um, folder all right so read is going to do what this does but it's not going to update so read is just going to be in fact I'm going to move this up because we might actually just call read so read is going to find user with account number just like we did for um, updates and then fetch content of the file and that's just it fetch content of the file and return it back um all right next stop delete again we would find the user and then delete 
of course this is supposed to return true otherwise return false so find user with account number delete the user record which is actually the file and then finally return true if it succeeds um and oh yeah this is now going to be what we'll call for all of these find things we are doing here but again don't worry once we start implementing you get what i mean so uh find user record in the data folder all right so i think we have a basic uh structure now once we start working on it you know we might have to make some changes because really i've not really done this i'm just uh doing it right now so uh, whatever mistake i make you would you'll see it and we'll fix it together and hopefully you would um, also not make the same mistake as uh, you work on your own edition